Well, there she is. The newest, the biggest, the baddest harvest right there is. This is number three for me. And today we're gonna unbox this and see what it has to offer. Hey guys, it's Brian with Retired at 40. It seems like we were just here a few short months ago because we were, I was, uh, I was actually unboxing my new medium freeze dryer. But today I've got something special for you and something special for myself. Because I figured I've been doing this for more than three years on YouTube now, I've been doing freeze drying, my channel is primarily freeze drying, that I need to have the biggest and the baddest and the newest thing that Harvest Right has. And I have been impatiently waiting to do this video because it has been so cold here for the last three weeks that this has been sitting in the garage for three weeks and I, I've just been really been wanting to cut those bands and I waited and you can probably see by the redness on my nose and my you can see my breath it's not exactly warm here but it's at least above zero so today we're gonna do an unboxing of a large freeze dryer I'm gonna do a quick uh, overall review of it I'm gonna tell you a couple things that maybe uh, will sway your opinion one way or the other between a medium and a large because I have both now so the first thing that needs to happen if you've ordered one of these or you're getting ready to order one of these you need to do a quick walk around around the unit um, actually before they even drop it and leave it but you really want to examine all the corners and stuff. You want to make sure that there's there's a band around it because if the band is broken, it means someone has actually gotten into it. And before you sign that paper, you want to make sure there's no dents in the box or anything funky going on. But the first thing I'm excited to do is open this thing up because between the wait time of actually getting it here, which was about, I think 10 weeks, and just adding another like, couple weeks just waiting it for, for it to be warm enough to even crack this thing open. I'm gonna get this thing open. Now let's crack into this pump box first. This is gonna be your insulator pad for your door. You're gonna have a vacuum hose. This goes from your pump to the machine. As part of the starter kit, they always give you a, a pack of oxygen absorbers. They give you some Mylar bags. You're going to have trays, and in the large, you're gonna have five trays. They're also kind enough to throw in an impulse sealer, which will seal your Mylar bags. It gives you that nice crease across it. And this is what that looks like. And then depending on what pump you choose when you purchase will depend on what this next box looks like. And you're gonna have three choices. You're gonna have the standard oil pump, you're going to have the oilless pump, or if you watch some of my other videos, you probably know which pump that I like the best, and that would be the Premier pump. So I know I keep promising you an oilless pump review, and I can assure you it's coming. I have one on order. Um, they are back ordered right now when I'm making this video, so it's gonna take a little bit to get it, but it's coming up, I promise. So if you go with either of the two oiled pumps, they're gonna send you the pump in one box. They're gonna send you your first batch of oil with the pump, and then they're also gonna send you this filtering system, and this is actually the old filtering system. Um, I know Harvestrite is working on a new and improved version of this. I know people don't have very great things to say about this filtering system so depending on when you order yours you, you might get a, a newer version of this the oil they send is a Robinair oil uh, Robinair is makes a really great oil uh, whether you're using the standard pump or the premier pump I'm actually gonna do a video on oil choices uh, coming up soon so I will show you what the premier pump looks like but I'm not gonna go real in-depth to, uh, to into the Premier Pump because I have other videos that, that cover the whole thing. I have other, other videos that are comparing it to, uh, to the standard pump. And then eventually, as soon as I get my oilless pump, I'll have a video that will compare this Premier Pump with the oilless pump as well. And if you're having trouble uh, remembering which pump is which, just remember the Premier Pump is always the one that's gonna be in this lovely lime green color. And then when you get the Premier Pump, they, uh, they always throw in another quart of oil, which if you have two quarts of oil um, in the Premier Pump, that's gonna last you for, I don't know, 50 cycles. Um, I'm still using the same original two quarts that I got from my last freeze dryer. So there's your Premier Pump, and like I said, I've got other videos that go over this, uh, the reason that I like it, and I'll put those links to those videos down in the description. 
So before we open up the freeze dryer itself, I've got one other thing that's in the box here. Actually, two more things. It comes with all of your manuals, your literature, that good stuff. Make sure you read up on it. Uh, pretty much any question you can have is covered in these manuals. Um, and every other question you have, you can join our Facebook group or our MeWe group. And uh, if the answer is not on there, you can ask away. There's lots of, uh, lots of experienced freeze dryers on there that can, that can help you out with that. The last thing that's in here, could be the determining factor of whether you buy a large or a medium. And that's this guy right here. So this looks like just a basic power cord, but this could actually be the determining factor of whether you buy a large or a medium. And that's because of this right here. You might think this is like a European plug or something like that, but it's not. It's actually a 20 amp plug. And the reason they use this is so you can't plug it into the wrong type of outlet. A large freeze dryer requires an outlet like this that this can plug into. Many homes have a 20 amp circuit. Uh, a lot of times they use those for outside outlets. Uh, a lot of times in garages and bathrooms, things that uh, require more power. This one actually requires a special kind of outlet that this can plug into. And it also is supposed to be a dedicated circuit, which means the freeze dryer would be the only thing that runs on that circuit. So depending on if you have an available 20 amp circuit that's dedicated that you can just plug this straight into or you have to hire an electrician to run a whole new circuit or maybe you don't even have room in your uh, electrical service to, uh, to add that 20 amp, that could be the determining factor whether you get a medium freeze dryer or a large because the, the medium will just plug right into uh, a regular 110 outlet. Now let's get into this freeze dryer. I can't tell you how frustrating it's been having this sitting out here and not being able to open this, especially if you're a freeze dryer geek like I am, because it's like telling a kid that they have their Christmas present sitting under the tree and they can't open it until Christmas. All right, here it goes. So this is actually the first time that I've actually even seen a large. I've been doing this for a long time, but I've always had a medium size. And really the large, I was expecting it to be a whole lot bigger because I was expecting the, the outline of it to be a lot bigger because the large dryer will actually, the capacity of the trays and the amount that it will do each cycle is actually about 1.7 times larger than a medium. A large will do more than a small and a medium's capacity put together. So at a quick glance, um, the rack is, it's five racks instead of four. A medium would be a, a four rack. The racks are wider, they're deeper, which means the chamber is quite a bit bigger also. But now that we've got this thing unpackaged, I think it's time to take it downstairs. We'll sit it next to the medium and I'll run my first batch through it and kind of give you my, uh, my first impressions. All right, well here they are side by side, medium and large and kind of the angle almost makes this one look a whole lot bigger than this one. It is bigger, um, but I will say this one compared to my old one, to my old medium, uh, it's, it's really about the same size. Just they've made the medium so much, the new medium so much smaller. So I'm gonna get the new large hooked up and uh, ready to go and then we're gonna run a bread cycle. That's a good, that's a good thing. So I'm gonna pull this seal off. I'm gonna take this rack out and I'm gonna disconnect the rack from the chamber. And then I'm gonna hose down the inside of this chamber with some, uh, just some straight vinegar, white vinegar. And these things are kind of known for having a s smell to them. Um, just from being made, uh, there's just stuff that gets in there. I'm gonna also just kind of hose down the rack. 
Make sure your heat pads are on the top side. So I've got my bread loaded onto every tray. We're doing the bread run because that kind of, uh, it just kind of absorbs uh, any off smells, any weird things that would, uh, you know, inhibit getting a good tasting finished product for your first real batch. I'm gonna spray my pad a little bit with some, uh, some vinegar, put the pad back on, put my seal back on, and we should be ready to go. And these bread runs are typically pretty quick. Uh, four to six hours is probably pretty normal. There's not a lot of moisture in bread, but uh, what we're trying to do is get that vinegar and that bread to neutralize any smell that's in there. So we'll let this do its thing and then I'll check back in. Well, that totally took me off guard. This actually took 15 hours and 34 seconds. I uh, let it run overnight and I thought that it would uh, quit in the middle of the night, but it just shut off. My first impressions of the machine are all good ones. Uh, I'm really excited to have the larger amount, uh, the, just the capability of freeze drying so much more. Like I said, uh, this machine compared to this, this will do 1.7 times more per cycle. Uh, which is huge. You can you can imagine how much faster things will add up. And I will do uh, for my next video. I'll do a side by side comparison of this, the large versus the medium, just to go over um, all the the specs of it. But all in all, I am super excited about this machine. Uh, I'm ready to put it to work. And if you're thinking about purchasing a freeze dryer, uh, I'll put my affiliate link down in the description. If you use that, it helps us provide this content to you. It helps us maintain the best freeze drying social media groups there are, our Facebook group and our MeWe group. It also helps me keep up on the greatest and the latest stuff that uh, freeze drying has to offer. Also make sure that you check out our store freezedryingsupplies.com. We have mylar bags, we have oxygen absorbers, we have accessories and things that will help you in the freeze drying world. We have some big things coming up in the store. Uh, we're rolling out a new site for the store, uh, a new layout, we're going to have some new products. We can ship internationally on the new store. Store, and we'll have more to come on that real soon. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week.